sciatic nerve. We're going to be talking about the origin of the sciatic nerve, the variation, and its course. Also, we're going to be talking about the relationship of the sciatic nerve to the piriformis muscle. We're going to also talk about the main branches of the nerve. Origin. Here is a picture of the lumbosacral plexus, and you can see the origin of the sciatic nerve. The sciatic nerve is the largest nerve in the body. The sciatic nerve arises from the lumbosacral plexus in the pelvis. The sciatic nerve plus S4 equal the lumbosacral plexus. The ventral rami of L4 to S3 nerve roots unite to form the sciatic nerve. The sciatic nerve has two components, the tibial nerve and the common perineal nerve. The tibial nerve arises from the ventral divisions of all roots of the lumbosacral plexus from L4 to S3, and the common perineal nerve arises from the dorsal division of L4 to S2. It does not arise from S3. The nerve ends just above the popliteal fossa by dividing into the common perineal nerve and the tibial nerve. Variation of the sciatic nerve. The level of division of the sciatic nerve is variable, usually occurs at the middle or the lower third of the thigh, but in about 10% of patients, the tibial nerve and the common perineal nerve can be separated at the greater sciatic foramen. There are variations of the sciatic nerve. Four or more variation patterns are identified. In the majority of the patients, about 88%, the sciatic nerve pass underneath the piriformis muscle. Another pattern, the piriformis is divided and the nerve is divided in about 11% of the cases. So the piriformis divide into two parts with the perineal division of the sciatic nerve pass between the two parts of the piriformis muscle. Another pattern, which is rare, Less than 1%, the perineal division of the sciatic nerve passes over the muscle and the tibial division passes beneath the undivided piriformis muscle. The last example, which is extremely rare, the entire nerve passes through the divided piriformis muscle. So the variation, everything is about the nerve. The nerve passes underneath the piriformis in the majority of cases. The piriformis is divided and the nerve is divided. The third pattern, the nerve is divided and the piriformis is not divided. The fourth pattern, the nerve will pierce through the piriformis muscle. The tibial nerve is the median nerve. It descends down vertically towards the tibia. The common perineal nerve is lateral, or you call it fibular. If one division is tibial, then the other one is fibular or lateral, which goes laterally towards the fibula, and that is the common perineal nerve. The sciatic nerve leaves the pelvis through the greater sciatic foramen, below the piriformis, and the anterior to it, to reach the gluteal region under cover of the gluteus maximus. From the gluteal region where the nerve is covered by the gluteus maximus, the nerve runs downwards to the back of the thigh. The nerve lies between the greater trochanter and the ischium. As it descends, it passes anterior to the piriformis, 
and crosses posterior to the tendon of the gemelli, the obturator internus, and the quadratus femoris. So the nerve is anterior to the piriformis, but posterior to the obturator internus. The sciatic nerve retractor in the lesser sciatic notch, the obturator internus tendon is between the retractor and the nerve. The nerve is closely related to the posterior aspect of the stablum, can be injured from dislocation or from traction or retractors of surgery. In the thigh, the sciatic nerve descends on the posterior aspect of the adductor magnus muscle in a midline direction. In the upper part of the thigh, it is covered by the long head of the biceps, means the nerve is deep to the biceps. The nerve descends in the thigh close to the midline, crossed obliquely by the long head of the biceps femoris muscle. The crossing of the long head of the biceps femoris over the sciatic nerve looks somewhat like an X. In the rest of its course in the thigh, the nerve is covered by the biceps and the hamstring muscles. These are three cross sections of the thigh, upper, mid, and lower, and it shows the location of the sciatic nerve and its relationship to the structures around it. Branches High in the thigh, before the nerve divides, the sciatic nerve supplies the hamstring muscles, which are the long head of the biceps, the semimembranosus, and the semitendinosus. It also supplies the ischial part of the ductum magnus. Except the nerve to the short head of the biceps, all branches to the muscles come from the medial side of the nerve. The short head of the biceps is innervated by the common perineal nerve. So the lateral border of the nerve is safer during dissection or surgery. On its medial side, the sciatic nerve is accompanied by the posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh and a small artery called the inferior gluteal artery. What is the relationship of the biceps femoris and hamstring to the sciatic nerve for exposure and repair of a torn hamstring tendon from the ischium? The sciatic nerve is close to the hamstring tendon. It is about a centimeter lateral to the proximal hamstring tendons. The nerve should be identified, dissected away, and neurolysis may be needed, especially in cases of chronic repair of the hamstrings. The cases that require mobilization of the retracted tendons. These chronic cases may cause an increased difficulty in neurolysis of the nearby sciatic nerve. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.